What's up YouTube and welcome back to Kang Bros TV. This is a prediction video of Kovalev versus the one and only Canelo. So, let me just quickly get into this here. People that don't actually know boxing, what's about to happen right now is the equivalent to somewhere like, if you look at the sizes here, yeah, it's equivalent to something like, I don't know, Ian Beal versus Phil Mitchell, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we're talking about here. People don't understand. <laughs> People don't understand. This is the sort of this fight, yeah. It should not even be happening. You won't even talk about it, cuz. You wouldn't even talk about it. If you were talking about who's Canelo gonna fight next, you won't even mention this name. This is like, like I said, this is like year seven fighting year ten. What the size difference is mad. But do you know why they're gonna have this fight? <laughs> yeah, I take this fight, no problem. <laughs> yeah, it's like contaminated meat. <laughs> My man's skipping through weight divisions like it's not even a thing, brother. And you're saying that there's no that meat's not contaminated. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> okay. That's true. Okay. I don't know how this fight is. He's jabbing happen. stuff up his ass and all of a sudden he's he's yeah. Nah. <laughs> I'm just trying to be like you big man. That's what he's trying to do now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, seriously. Like, that's what I'm saying. The people that don't know about boxing, people are just shouting out mad shit like, oh yeah, Canelo's gonna knock him out. Are you mad? Are you actually mad? Like, this is a, a light heavyweight. Light heavyweight we're talking about. So, like I said, this fight would never be happening in my eyes. I don't even envision it. But the fact that it's happening now, it's very carefully picked. So, I'm still going to go for if I make a quick prediction. It's be Canelo on points. But I do believe this, this fight would have never, ever happened initially. This fight is picked at a perfect time for Canelo. Once again, people always say that Canelo's fights are picked at a perfect time. But I rate Canelo from all his CV. If you look at his CV, yeah, it's his picked CV really mad. well when he fought Mayweather. His CV is mad. His CV is mad, uh, and I do think that Canelo will win on points, and it will be a unanimous decision because uh, Kovalev is on the decline. We saw with, with um, Yard. A Anthony Yard was that he still has his power, but he doesn't have the the. But then, I don't know. The, the thing is, the, the speed thing is not there. The thing about Canelo is he's a supreme boxer. Yeah, mm -hmm. listen, make no. You say what you want, joke about it, whatever you want. He is a. An, he is a supreme boxer, yeah, like, and this is why you, you can take these risks and put him up because he has got size. He's obviously he even looks a big man, even at his own weight. He always looks like he's, he looks like he's struggling to make the weight. If you know what I mean? Because yeah, he looks yeah. so jacked, yeah. Um, you know, interesting, but um, you know, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> um, whatever, <laughs> whatever. That's kind of that's kind of what they're doing, isn't it? They're just saying, uh, listen, he's a bit big, isn't he? We'll do the test afterwards. <laughs> One of those ones, yeah, but. For, like I said, for me, he is a, he's an elite level boxer, yeah? So his skills, mad. So, and Kovalev, uh, Kovalev, you watched him in that last fight. As much as I love Kovalev, yeah? Because obviously growing up, you, you know, for the last however many years you watched him and he's just, just too much. But, uh, if, I want to say, yeah, that if Kovalev catches him, it's lights out. But I just don't think that is the case because I, I know that maybe he can take bangs anyway, yeah? But equally, he's a very, very slick boxer. And you, you don't, the younger man, against someone who's aged and who's not, he didn't fight too long ago, to be fair. That's what baffles me. But, that's, well, the thing is, if, if someone offers you Canelo money, you're taking that fight. That DAZN paper. That's what I'm saying, you're taking, you're taking that it, fight. Bro. And that's why for, for Kovalev, he knows, he's not stupid. He's on the decline now. So for, to, for you to get that fight of that, the, the, the numbers involved, you're taking that at all, at every you know day. I mean, he's probably injured and thought, nah, <laughs> I'll be there, player. I'll be there. I'll yeah. be getting my DAZN money. Don't worry. Because the thing is, even the build-ups seem mad. Like, I don't know if you've seen it, like, you've seen Kovalev actually going up to Canelo saying, let's take selfies in there. Do you know what I mean? And I think it's two greats. It is two greats of the game, like, of the sport. If you look at it, like, those two are going to go down in history. Mm. Kovalev was for what he's achieved, the type of boxer he was, the career that he's had. Great. But he also knows that, listen, my time's up. My card's marked because I know that I'm on the decline. Mm. My skill set is going to get me so far. My experience is going to get me so far. And I think he's thinking, right, let's... Right, let's He's, he can see the light at the end of the tunnel and say, listen, let's just make as much money as I can while I can and we go. Canelo is probably thinking the opportunity to set records and, you know, be this many weight level, just so many different weight level champions. And what he's doing, it is unheard of. It is ridiculous. But he is an elite level fighter and the chances are he will win the fight because he's fitter, fresher, you know, he's a lot, a lot slicker. I mean, don't get me wrong, Kovalev's not exactly not skilled, but he's years old, he's getting on. The last fight against Yard, we didn't give Yard a chance in hell. We didn't think Yard was ever going to win that fight, and he was he was very close to winning that fight. Yeah. So, you know. but, then, but that's not, then the quality showed though with Kovalev at the end. He just put his quality out there. And thing is, like you said, there I, I don't see even if it was even if he does get caught, I do not see Canelo. I've never seen Canelo rocked personally. Very very early on, I think I saw it very very early on in his career that he was rocked. But apart from that, I've never seen him like mm. shook up where 
you see Canelo holding for dear life. So I don't see I don't see that. So do you think Kovalev goes into this fight with that attitude, the fact that he kind of knows that he's going to lose this fight? But if, if I catch a lick in there, maybe maybe something what the brass something could happen. I think he's going into into this fight with a mindset of I'm naturally the bigger man. I'm the heavy. I'm going to be weighing him down. He's going to it's going to take him a lot of. It's going to it's going to be very hard for Canelo to go to work on a bigger man mm. who's going to be smothering his work because I'm bigger and I, and he does pack a punch. So for me, I, I'm thinking he's going to go, you know what, I'm going to just smother him. I'm going to smother him and if he is as good as everyone says, he will find a way out but he's got to remember that I'm obviously no joke. So he's thinking, you know what, I've got nothing to lose. So what, if I get beat, so what, I'm old. Who cares? Everyone, no one's going to bat an eye. He'll probably go into that division and pick a fight to get himself back up the rankings, two fights, boom, he's in chance to get another belt. Mm. So I don't think, it's a bit of a free hit for, for Kovalev, I think, at this stage of his career. Yeah. Um, but for Canelo, well, you know, he's going to, you know, uh, like I said, next thing you know, he'll be fighting flipping heavyweights, bro. He'll be fighting Joshua, you know what I mean? Just a few more jabs and then he'll be straight up. <laughs> hate is going to hate. No, I'm, listen, I'm saying this. Uh, here's a question for you. Would you put Triple G up against, um, against Kovalev? Yeah. You would? And do you, but do you think Triple G would stand a better chance of winning the fight? No. no, because he's not as, he's not as skilled a he's boxer. Skilled, yeah. And if he, and listen, they both bang, but like I said, the, <laughs> it's a difference. Do you know what I mean? So I, love, I would love to see that fight just because of the brutality involved yeah, in that yeah. fight. But yeah, I don't see him. Yeah. Like but like I said, for me, I think Canelo does win. Timing, the timing of the of the fight is perfect would, for him. Would you ever seen that, this fight happen earlier on? No, exactly. No. Never been. Never been. Do you know what I mean? Like, imagine you like I said when I was making a uh, equivalence. So imagine it's like. Canelo fighting Andre Ward at his, at his best never happened. Never been. Never happened. Because so, you got an elite. Because uh, Ward is also a, a supreme boxer. So yeah, yeah. yeah, it's interesting. But like I said, the boxing scene at the moment is popping off. Chisora last week performance against Price. I don't want to even talk about that. That should never. That shouldn't even be a box office fight. And Chisora, I don't rate Price. He should shouldn't shouldn't be boxing anymore. And the corner saved him and at the right time. Uh, but uh, Pro Gray and Taylor was a fantastic fight. Is that um, one of the best fights you've seen? Uh, no, the best fight I've seen was Spence versus... Um, this year? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I forgot his buddy's name. Showtime. Showtime Porter. That was one of the best world weight fights I've seen in a long, long time. Very hard to score. I hope Errol Spence gets, gets you know, back up to his feet soon. That would be... Yeah. But I thought... Pro, I thought pro, don't drive, cuz. Pro, yeah. Listen, you've got enough pee. You get people to drive for you, player. Yeah. You do all the drinking, let them do all the <laughs> driving, player. Come on. <laughs> um, I thought Pro Gray Taylor was an unbelievably good fight. I don't think it was as, as wide as they made it. The judge, one of the judges had it quite, quite away. I thought it was nip and tuck. I th I'm exactly like you. But do you know what? Pro Gray, for me, by the way... What a the way he held himself throughout his whole time, even after the fight when he spoke. For me, that that decision could have gone his way. If that was in Vegas, that's going that's going to progress, right? To come to UK, take the fight because he wanted to be the best, and to talk and handle himself as well as well as he did, mate. Fair play to you. I thought you know I thought that was I thought he was class. I thought that was a great fight. Taylor looks mash up, but you know, listen, I, he's he's going to go down in history as well you know, for what he's achieved. That's unbelievable, and I, you can't say he didn't deserve it. Because if I thought he was the aggressor, and I thought he was probably the better. He was on consistent, the, I think, he, he, the whole thing. Yeah, but Progre is he's so hard to hit, elusive, and yeah, yeah, yeah. his movement is just ridiculous. So if that if they'd drawn that and say have another time, I don't think anyone would be too disheartened with it. But I think because of the trophy and they had to have a winner, there was a fourth judge so that was going to get a decision on the night or whatever. You know, listen, it was you know, probably a bit too one-sided, but a great fight nonetheless. So yeah, um, we'll see you. In... Oh, listen, you didn't forget to do the re review of the big fight on the weekend. In Saudi Arabia. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of my face with that. Tyson. Bullshit, Tyson. Come on now. <laughs> it's upsetting. It's, it's, all I want to do, I, I would love to, I'm a massive Tyson Fury fan. Everyone knows that. I'm Team Fury, always have been, and I, I don't think there's a better heavyweight than him. But you can't be giving it the big one when Joshua was making his money, when he was doing his deals and, you know, this, this many fights and fighting people that weren't at the caliber. You can't do that and now be in a WWE, my G, yeah? Doing the WWE. Come on now. I'll say it properly in the WWE. WWE. Yeah? <laughs> but like I said, for me, that is making money. No, I'm, you can't deny him that opportunity to make money, right? And he's doing that. But you can't be talking smack about other people making their pee previously and then now you're doing the same thing. That just sounds like you're hating. That was your on some hating shit and now you're making your money and it's all right. And the last thing I want to say, this KSI Logan Paul bullshit. Yeah? <laughs> bullshit. Look at what it's bullshit. Bollocks. Yeah? That is not a fight. How, is they, how are you going to put Billy Joe Saunders on the card? He's a world champion.
What are we coming to? This is the sport that we love, yeah? Boxing fans love. And we're watching two guys who ain't fighters. And uh, listen, I know there's money in it and I get all that. And Eddie Hearn is doing, he's a money man. Everyone knows that. Sky Sports, like I said, BT Sports are, 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 are creeping. So there's, they need to make their money. But you're telling me that's the best you can do. What do you mean? Those you two mean? mateys, those two joeys, they're the best you can do as a fight. But I personally think you're hating out here, bro. It's not, it's not a fight. Listen, make your money. Do what you got to do. Fine. But how are you going to put it in the box office bill on Sky Sports as, and put pro fighters who have devoted their whole life to boxing, right? All like world champions as an undercard. Bro, you ever heard of demand and supply? <laughs> bro, the kids want it, bro. The kids get it. I think Sorry. your old time ass used to just relax. If the kids want it, they get I love, it. I love boxing. Box office, WWE was box office. You used to pay for summer slams out here, Royal Rumbles. Nah, so what are, you, what are you talking a, about, bro? Nah, fam. No, I'm sorry. You're telling me you never paid for a Royal Rumble when you were a kid? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? But I was a kid. I was a kid. Back then, I was a kid. So I'm w saying, the kids you, you even watch WWE, WWF. If that's your thing, do it. Yeah? Do what you got to do. Watch your battle rules or whatever. Yeah? But this is this is boxing. This is guys. They, they're promoting it. Like, it's a proper fight. It's not. It's not. You're bringing, but for me, that's bringing boxing into disrepute. Well, WWE is not real. You know that, right? If, what? You know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like saying, yeah, it's like saying, what? you know what? Uh, these, there's, there's people, those F2 football mates, yeah? It's like saying, you know what? We're going to stick one of them at Man City, yeah, one of them at Man United, yeah, because the, the kids want it. Yeah, get them in there and we'll stick them in there with Pongba. So Pongba, F2 matey midfield, yeah, the derby, and winner takes all for the Premier League. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry, not for me. No, no, no. I, I hear what you're saying, but at the same time, it's like if, if the demand is there, like it's going to make serious money, then that's why I understand Sky Sports, Eddie Hearn. Gonna, if someone's saying to you, look, to you, you're saying, listen, you're going to make millions if you just promote this fight. Of course you're doing it. Of course you can do it. You're not going to say, oh, because of the love of the game, I'm not going to do it because of, for whatever that's, reason. No, 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 listen, that's, I, I, I get that. That's right? what I'm saying. I get that. If, if it's, but it is an exhibition. It's, it's an exhibition. Yeah. So what do you want them to do? Well, right? well, well listen, keep... Keep the professionals, because it, for me, it shits on the boxers who devote their whole life to it. Yeah, but you reckon if, if Billy Joe Saunders didn't want to be on there, he didn't have to be on there. I'm sure, I'm sure there's fight, the financial incentives are there exactly. for him because it's, it's time, exactly. time to fight and whatever. But I'm just saying, if you're a professional boxer who's devoted your whole life for it, there's some people out there who don't get that break. There's some people that have been boxing their whole life that don't get that break, put their lives on the line. People are, there's a main, there's, there's, how many fighters have died this year alone through boxing, right? People are putting their lives on the line and this is committing their life to it. You get these two clowns who... You know, make up this. I don't like the kid. What? what? Shut up. Who cares? If you don't like him, bro, go and wrestle him or something, bro. Make a video about him and fuck it off. You, you, you are. Yeah, I don't listen. There's enough box office fights out there as it is. People, have, it's hard to, to, you know, to keep up. You, you, people might think I'm hating. It's nothing to do with hating. Make your money. I'm all for people making their money. Listen, I fucking support Amir Khan. He makes his money. Yeah. Make your money. Do what you got to do. But for me, you are shitting on all of the boxers that are out there at the moment because for me, that suggests that, you know what, just because these two have got a profile and, you know, it's like a YouTube thing, great. Uh, let's put them on. Ah, fuck all you lot. That, Eddie, I'm dying for a fight here, mate. Dillian White, for example. Give me a fight. Get me a title fight. Get me paid. Yeah? Dillian White's still waiting for a, for a sentence. It's been 10 months. So how do you reckon he feels? Nah, not for me. Sorry, not for me. I, I'm passionate about that. It's, it's, it's uh, making a mockery for me, but listen... People want to pay for it. Do you, boo boo? Do you? On that note, so this was uh, the prediction video of Kovalev and Canelo. Canelo. <laughs> uh, we'll see you at the reaction video. Let us know your views on the KSI Logan and this, this uh, prediction fight. Uh, and obviously, if you disagree, if you disagree or agree with us, because like we say, we see it going one way with Canelo on this one uh, just because of the skills. Um, but yeah, so until then, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and comment. Peace. <laughs>